In this video I'm going to show you how to link Cartoon Animator 5 to iClone 8 so that you can record motion clips from iClone to Cartoon Animator. So on the screen here I have Cartoon Animator 5 with a completely brand new project and in this window I've got iClone 8 and again it's a completely brand new project. So the first thing I'm going to do which is entirely optional is set my projects up to be portrait just so that these screen windows sort of handle uh, this display and we don't get tiny avatars on the screen. So just to do that in Cartoon Animator, go into Render Settings, which is this icon here, and for video output size, you can see I've got 1080, 1920 by 1080p, and what I want to do is reverse that so it's portrait, and this becomes 1080, and you saw me uncheck the lock ratio button so that I could do this. This becomes 1920, enter, and now we've got this nice vertical area here. Close that, and we can do the same for iClone. It has the exact same render button here. We'll come up and the exact same settings. Uh, all we have to do is change this to 1920 by 1080, and then swap these around. So that one is 1080, this one is 1920, and close that one there. And that should give us a nice vertical thing here. You can see on the screen we've got these edges here showing indicating that uh, this is a portrait scene and if I do the mouse wheel in and out roll it forwards and backwards that'll move the camera in that frame. Now before we get started we need a character on the stage in Cartoon Animator and the best characters to use for this if you're playing around with 3D motion clips that you want to see how they look in Cartoon Animator is to go into the free resources here and then let's Move this across, scroll down to the actor pack here. We'll scroll back. And we want to go actor 360 human actor. We want dummy for 3D motions in here. And you'll see we get these four or five characters. Now the reason why you want to use these characters is because they've got bone hands and you can actually transfer the animations of the hands in iClone to these characters. So that's why they're good for experimenting with, with your motion. And I'm going to use this uh, dummy to side. This is the of 315 degree angle that most people use for their characters in Cartoon Animator. It's the most versatile one. So I'll put that on the stage. There we go. I'm just going to make him fill the area of the screen by holding down the Alt key, rolling that in. And now what we want to do is go into iClone and we're going to open up the Motion Live plugin. So you go to the plugins menu and you'll see if you've got the motion link plugin installed you'll have this cartoon animator one. We'll just go in, select it, go motion link and we should see a window come up. Uh, mine turned up here because I was experimenting with this before. Uh, sometimes it comes up or more often than not it will come up as a floating window like this and if you want to move it out of the way uh, unlike cartoon animator iClone will let you put it in as a panel tab just for now I'm going to leave it floating and the first thing you want to do is click this button here which adds a dummy character to the stage I believe you can use this with any character in iClone uh, but this is the easiest and quickest way to get started and if you're just experimenting with getting motions looking right and transferring them to Cartoon Animator. This is probably the ideal way to go. So it puts a character on the stage that looks very similar to our character in Cartoon Animator 5. And in iClone I can get close to that just by doing the scroll wheel. We'll move the camera close. Now that we've done that you can see that we've got this active activate link button. But before we click that we want to Go back to Cartoon Animator and activate our Motion Live 2D plugin here. I believe the actual Motion Live plugin itself is free. It's the profiles for it that actually cost you uh, some money for the motion capture profiles, but I believe this is all free. Here we are in the Real Illusion Hub, and I just wanted to double check that the iClone Motion li Link is indeed free. So here. You here it is here in the cartoon animation section. You can install that for free. And for iClone, got the CTA 
motion link here for free as well so you just install that into your iClone and then install this one into cartoon animator and you should be good to go but you'll see we've got this window open now make sure you've got your character selected when you open this window because you'll see it come up in the character list so if i don't have it selected you'll have, it'll look like this so you want to just click on your character can't do anything with the face animation don't believe you can link the face between iclone and cartoon animator but you'll see in here if we do the body in this list we've got iClone motion link here clicking on this little arrow here we want to select that and then you'll see we've got one for hand if we click on the little arrow here you'll see there's an iClone motion link for hand and you'll see that this panel here came up so we've got all sorts of settings we can adjust when having iClone control the hands i'm not going to mess around with any of these settings today you can see if we select the body over here we've also got settings for the body that we can adjust again we can mask body parts out if we don't want them to be affected mirror motions the back facing characters all of these things but i'm not going to do any of these settings today just know that they're there and you can experiment with them to see what they're going to do go back to the hands you can see what posture preset and hands profiles we probably want this one selected so that matches our character the 45 degree uh, even though this is known as a 315 degree usually but anyway and everything else we can just leave as is for the moment that's probably the only thing that you do need to change See, we've got different poses here just experiment with those so once we've got these boxes checked down here we now have to go back to iClone and activate the link so in motion link in iClone we want to now click this button and you'll see the link is now activated uh, but nothing is happening over here so we can adjust this and nothing is happening in cartoon animator now we have to go back to cartoon animator and actually turn this on so we've got these selected but under the body you'll see there's this red dot for iclone motion link we want to turn that on by clicking on it turn it green and under the hands we've got same iClone motion link turn that on and now we should be good to go I believe and we can collect preview on here and hit the space bar and you'll see now the character is taking on the pose that we can see over in iClone and if I adjust motion link in here you'll see this is very similar to the 3d motion editor in cartoon animator when you're importing 3d motions if I start moving this character themselves will move obviously this character being a one angled character uh, won't spin and look the same as this it can only approximate the poses with the sprites that it has so you'll see if i keep going this is going to get start looking worse and worse and we can't get a back view at all it just flips so the idea is when you're creating motions or taking motions from iClone and bringing them into cartoon animator you want to get them looking as good as you can for whatever angle angled character is that you've chosen so we've got this particular angle so we want to make our motions suit a character in that particular angle so take it back to 45 and i'm going to stop previewing for now here we can hit the space bar and just for the moment i'm going to put this in my panels here so now i've got it on this little tab and i can scroll through my other tabs and that won't be in the way anymore uh, it'd be nice if we could do that with cartoon animator but unfortunately we can't uh, i could just take this off of this screen put it onto my other screen get it out of the way what i'm going to do is find an action for this character and i'm going to use one that doesn't require it to walk around just for the purpose of this demonstration because this is really just to show you how to record an action we'll go into content manager go into say, animations you'll notice this content manager is very similar to cartoon animator you should be able to find your way around it pretty easily motions here and then we've got all these packs I'm on the pack tab here just like in cartoon animator and let's choose I'm going to do one of these lecture motions I think this one just stands still so I'll apply it to this character but if not we'll just try and get run with it that's applied to the character we'll see what it looks like when we press play
And that's actually not too bad. It's still going. I think it just looped then because I've got loop on the play bar down here set on. You notice again, a lot of this looks exactly like cartoon animator. So if you haven't done a lot of work with iClone, but you have done a lot of work with cartoon animator, uh, there are a lot of similarities in the user interface. I'm going to stop this and I'm going to open up the timeline, uh, which you'll notice there's no actual button on here for the timeline because if you can't find it, you can just go into the window, open up the timeline here. And this is very similar to cartoon animator as well. I'm just going to limit this to maybe the first 200 frames. So we'll press play. So we stop it about there, roll this along, and I'm going to click this button which will make the select that as the end point of the timeline that I want. So you see if I click that, like in Cartoon Animator, we've got this end selection point. So that now the rest of the timeline uh, will be ignored and we'll just cycle between those first 800 frames. So I'm going to close the timeline down and then I'm going to link this again. So we go back to Motion Link and Cartoon Animator and Preview in CTA. You'll see now uh, we're getting all that preview information and the character is doing its thing. So we're going to stop this. We're going to keep this previewing and you'll notice if we grub around on the timeline we can look at how each frame is working in Cartoon Animator and see that hand is going behind. Perhaps not what we want. Now that we've got a motion into our character. If we want to record it in Cartoon Animator, uh, we can do Send to Cartoon Animator. We can do it Preview or Record. And I'm going to do Record. I'm going to turn off Camera Tracking. We don't really need it. And over in Cartoon Animator, uh, I'll turn that off, Camera Tracking off as well, just in case. Right, so now we're going to send it to Cartoon Animator, making sure we're at the start here. Send to Cartoon Animator, do a record, and we're going to hit this button here and go record in CTA. And you'll see now, go back to the start in CTA. Now I've got that motion recorded. There are some layering issues there that we could fix, like the arm, and we could perhaps fix up the hands a little bit more. So let's open up the timeline over here. Let's have a look at what's been recorded. So we've got this device puppet key track here and that finishes at about frame 4.15. So I'm going to put my end selector target here, set end frame on that frame and now if we wanted to we could go through. We might be able to mess around with the layers on here. Go right hand or right arm, center front of torso. We might need to do it with the hand as well. And to the front of the torso, leave the right arm in behind the torso, there we go, and right forearm. And again, we could mess around with the hands and stuff, but uh, I'll leave it at that for now. Uh, we could save this to our custom folder. Uh, you could either do it by collect clip, or you can just we'll save it out to the animation folder. 2D motion. And put it in demo motion. And hit the save button. Call it iClone 8 motion test. Saved it there. Go back to the start. Go remove object animation. So that you can see now that doesn't have anything happening on it. And then we apply this. The motion that we saved. See, there it is. Ready to use. That was just a simple demonstration to show you how you can get motions out of iClone and into Cartoon Animator. Once you're all done, you can pretty much unlink everything.
Uh, but that's how you do things. So I hope you found this interesting and will encourage you to experiment with what you can do by linking the two softwares together and experimenting with iClone motion files. I hope you found that demonstration useful. Uh, this was only intended to be a very simple demonstration to show you how to link iClone and Cartoon Animator 5 and so you could see how easy that is to do. Hopefully this demonstration has given you a little bit of a taste of just how easy the actual recording process is and that if you do have both applications you might give it a try. So that's it for this demonstration and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now. Oh, my God.